how is it going? Today, I am Arch Nemesis Tech Reviews, and we are going to be reviewing the Bose Soundlink 2 Color Speaker. <laughs> the color is known as, uh, I'm pretty sure is known as Space Gray, or whatever the color is. <laughs> you have your usual um, Bose sign. And today we're actually doing the video outside of my apartment. So this is gonna be an amazing video clip that we're actually doing. <laughs> so speaking of the Bose Soundlink, it features if I can look at the specifications. A the Bose logo like I just said. And you have your usual um your controls on the top, but we can look at it and we can actually get a, good, a nice look of it. It's important. So using a handheld camera, it's pretty not. It's pretty not that easy to get to get a good focus of it. <laughs> since I since I use an iPhone 6 as handheld camera, that's my personal daily diary phone. <laughs> and there we go. So you get your usual both signature logo on the front and also on the back. The same thing. If we, if we can see it. There we go. <laughs> And also, you have the speaker on the back, which I believe that's the handset speaker. And this is just the the big speaker. Now, it does have good sound quality, which we will be... But the problem is, I try to get the sound quality on my phone because I can't go upstairs. Which is kind of annoying to go upstairs and then put the, the sound in for my computer. Because <laughs> I have to boot, because it's already booted up, I have to log into my computer and everything. <laughs> But anyways, it's just a good speaker to be honest. And anyways, let's take a look of the. Now, our tech reviews will actually show you how to actually connect the speaker. Now, sorry, I have to talk from third person or anything like that. The speaker actually connects via Bluetooth, so it simply turns on. So the actual battery. Which is which is this is this is just a wait. It actually tells you the name of the computer as or the device being connected. <laughs> now, based on the device's SSID, it will tell you when it's connected and when it's been disconnected. It's powered on. So that's my iPhone. That's my iPhone 6 over here. <laughs> you have the Bluetooth side to pair our device, and you have the I don't know. I have no clue what is this. Power as a language. So who the heck knows? <laughs> You have the volume down, of course the volume up, and that's pretty much it on this video. So, if you want to pick up one for yourself, the speaker is $120 from Best Buy, or whatever store you want to go to. I actually, and by the way, I did actually get this for my, for my 15th birthday, so this is a, an actual present I got. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure that is the actual handsome on the back. On the front, I thought on the back. That's the okay. So I'm sorry, I have to tell you this. Uh, that's the big mistake I tell you. So sorry about that. This, both the front and back are the speakers. This is actually that's just a headset. I don't know what I think. You can hardly see focus. Yes, wait, I don't know Look very closely. That is the head. That is the, the microphone speaker where you're actually in the car. <laughs> It'll call from here. And over here, you got, you got of course, you got your. They'll give you like a charging cable, but not the actual wall charger, which I don't like. <laughs> we're gonna try an extra wall charger so I can charge my phone. <laughs> Over here, you got your um, your usual um, and over here you got your usual um charging cable, like your charging port and your uh, a a UX port, which if you want to use as a backup to connect from Bluetooth, if you don't have the if the Bluetooth power is not available. So that's it for me. I'm Arch Nevis Tech Reviews, and we're currently signing off.